Well, hello everybody. And I was going to uh, do a loom hat, a long hat, and uh, so I thought I would go ahead and make a video and show you how I'm going to do it. So let me show you what I'm going to use, and uh, if you decide to decide you like the hat, you want to do one, then uh, hopefully this will help you and. Maybe you'll just see this hat and say, hey, I like that. I'm going to make one. <laughs> so let me show you what I'm going to use. I'm going to use a 36-hole loom, which is this one. And I've got my scissors. And I've got a needle to sew it together. And then I've got my little uh, stitch-over thing here that we will use. And, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to use a uh, black and green yarn, and I've got my yarn bag. Let me see if I can set y'all down without dropping you. I got my bag of goodies here. I got my yarn in this bag here. Let's see if I can show you. Well, maybe I can get it. <laughs> I started a blanket, but I never have finished it. And anyway, that's my cheat sheet. I uh, went to, uh, oh shoot, I wrote it down so I could give her the credit. Crafty Arms Work is where I uh, got the pattern from. She uh, used the loom to do her hat, and uh, so I copied her pattern, and that's who uh, I'm going to... I can't think and talk at the same time. That's whose pattern I'm going to duplicate. And I might do a couple twerks, but basically it's her pattern that I'm using. Again, it's the 36 inch loom. But the yarn that I'm gonna start with is the green. And I'm just gonna take the, the yarn here and loop it. I'm trying to show it so you can see. I don't know if I can do it from this angle so y'all can see, but you just kind of loop it this way so it's looped over. I can see it from this way, but oh, dang. I don't know if y'all can see. Cross it over just so it crosses like this. And then you take this in here. I'm going to stick my fingers through there. And you grab it like that, so it's like that, and then this is really big, but I'm doing it so you guys can see, and then you just kind of pull it, and then that way you have this piece here that moves back and forth, and then you will take that piece there, and then there's this little peg here that sticks out, you want to take that and put it on here, and then just pull it snug. And that's going to be the starting point. And then after you go around like twice, just take it off of there so that your uh, hat doesn't bunch all together. But all you want to do, it, for starters, is take your loom. <laughs> I'm getting all wrapped up. Take your loom and wrap this around each one of these little pegs here. Like this. Just go around each one. And then, see how I'm going around each one of them? And then uh, I'm going to do that, and then I'll come right back. All right. I'm going to put this like this. About halfway done. And that way you can see a little bit better what I'm doing here. This is how I'm wrapping. I kind of push mine down a little bit as I go but like this that was my husband hubby you heard in the background there he's talking on the phone to somebody okay i have reached all the way around and as you can see i'm right here at my little peg again so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna wrap it around again going above the first wrap this will be my second time around 
and I just do the same thing I wrap all the way around going again like I said above the first one so I'll get back to you when I get all the way around okay I'm at the end again so I go around my last peg here oops and then I'm going to bring my string here I'm going to wrap it around that one where I have my first starter Whoop. and I'm going to hold it with my thumb or my fingers whatever and then I'm going to even though this is my first one because that's where my peg is I'm going to do my last one first because that will help hold my string and you take your bottom yarn and you go over your top one and then that will hold your string in place so it doesn't all unravel and then you can just push this one down or you can leave it up there if you want to but see that'll hold your your string so it doesn't all unravel and then you just go around each one of these and you take the bottom one and sometimes it's a little bit tight and you gotta pull it a little bit but you just take it and you go over the top one over each one so you only have one and you take make sure you get both of your strings and you can work it so you, it's not so you don't stick both of them whatever and you're gonna want to push all of those down because when you wrap it again you want those on the bottom because you're gonna want to do that <clears throat> that was that was our second wrap but you're gonna end up you wanting to do this you're gonna wrap this one 30 times because that's gonna be the rim of the hat and I'm gonna use green and black so I switch colors and I'm sorry this is kind of wobbly and close and back and forth and it's kind of hard to get it close enough that y'all can see it and try to stabilize it too anyways let me pause it and I'll get back I'll turn it back on when I get closer to the first peg again okay I have got all of those pegs off and I got all of those wrapped around so remember I said that you could take this little thing off here I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and just let it hang down all right so remember this is number one here so we start wrapping again we go all the way around and this will be wrap three and I will get a piece of paper with a pencil and I will start, <clears throat> excuse me, I will start marking my wraps so I don't forget what wrap I'm at. But uh, you can hold that down with your finger if you want to when you first start. But this, like I said, this is wrap three. And it's really easy. You just keep going around and like I said, you just put it on the top and bring the bottom over and ready to the end again so I just kind of put that around there and take my last one this is my first one because here it says take my last one go over the top and I push that one down and then that can come off and see it won't come undone and my yarn I have in two liter containers. I put it in containers. It helps to keep it organized, keeps it off the ground. And I put lids on it sometimes when it's not in use. That way it keeps it, keeps it clean, keeps the dust off it. But anyway, let me uh, go get a pen, mark down how many times I've gone around so I don't lose count and I'm gonna go ahead and do some wrapping and I'll get back to y'all in a little while all right <clears throat> y'all I uh, previously made a long stocking cap and I had to have technical difficulties with the sound so I got a little discouraged and I wasn't going to post the video at all but uh, my kids said, why don't you just make a different long stocking cap, Mom? And uh, 
put that one on there and put them together and show them how you did that one. And I was like, uh, whatever, I'm just not even going to do it. They're like, it don't matter, just put that one on there. So, I guess I'm going to put this long stocking cap, which is a totally different color than the other one, and show you how I did it. So, this is a totally different color, but it's uh, going to be put in um, on how I did it, because I had, like I said, technical difficulty. For some reason, the sound didn't show. So, that is why this hat color is different so let me show you how I did the brim and um, if you have any questions just leave comments or questions and I'll try to answer them but let me show you how I did the brim okay on the other hat I went around 30 times on this hat I only went around 15 times because it's going to be a smaller hat but when you're done you take the inside and you take where you started and you just take the two loops that you started with and here's your starting point so you start there and here's your two or your yeah your two little threads there so that you know you started there and you take your two first loops and you just put them on there and you go all the way around with it and when you get done you'll have three and you go all the way around with your two on there hopefully you can see that and just go all the way around just like that Pretty easy to slip on there. And let me go ahead and slip all those all the way around. And I will come back and show you what it should look like when I get all of those on there. Okay, I have all of my loops on here and you just want to check and make sure each one is lined up on a peg and if you come to one that is see how i have two of them these this one has the same one is on two that means i messed up so i have to take this off right here and fix it. That means this one goes. I have to take all of these off and redo that. You want to make sure you don't have two of them on the same one because that will mess up the brim. So you want to put that one there. Let me take that off of here. And then I want to put this one over here where it belongs. Put this one over here where it belongs. And put this one over here where it belongs. And it still does not look right. It looks like I missed. All right now it looks like it's sideways so i am going to double check let's see i got one here one here one here 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 just double checking to make sure i got all of them on i didn't skip one and i don't have another one doubled is all i'm checking so you make sure just follow your your patterns here and as you can see right here it looks like I messed up again so I am going to take it off from right here and it happens it's easy to do 
I'm going to take it off from right here and start all the way over. So I get to go all the way back and start all the way over back there. So let me do it again and we'll come out. I'll be right back. Okay, got them all on there again. So let's check it again. Here is our starting point. Now we need to check and make sure there is one on each again. Looking good so far. As you can tell, it's not crooked this time. So it looks like we did good this time. Okay, looks good this time. All right, now <clears throat> what I need to do is go get my my hook, and all we do is we take this bottom piece here, and we will take and we will pull it over the top on each one, and that will make our brim. And I think I have sound from here out on my other video, so I will. Uh, continue with the other video okay guys it's been a day or two we had a birthday party come up and a couple other things but uh anyway i think we left off where i had uh put the brim of the hat together and we were ready to do the next row and this is holly yeah this is my holly holly <laughs> had to get her in here okay baby i can't hold you in Fix the hat. So, anyway, that's one of my Yorkies. She's the oldest one. <laughs> okay, anyway, back to the hat. We had, uh, uh, I got a mess here. We had put the, the brim together, and what I'm going to do next is change colors. And the uh, next row that we're going to do is going to be 15 rows so we're going to go around 15 times but first I'm going to change my colors I'm going to do green and black and I'm going to just cut it like about that much and again I'm going to use two strings or strands or whatever you want to call them and I'm going to try to get my color as close as I can down to the uh, peg so when you so when I start looping around, it's black and not green. Let's just pull that down as close as we can to that little peg there. I'm having technical difficulties here. Ugh, come on. And of course I didn't get it very close. So uh, I just got back in from feeding all the animals. It's still really cold here in Oklahoma. It was only like 20 degrees when I was out there. So for Oklahoma, that's super cold. But anyway, okay, that's close enough. That's probably as, about as close as I'm going to get it. And again, right here is our starting point. So I want to start with this peg. And we just wrap it around. So start here. We go. Let's see in whoops or wrap go around 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 see I'm going in it and out it and I go in and around in and around and do that until you go all the way around it and by now you should know how to do that and then once again when you get to your peg where you started hold it with your thumb and take the last one off first to hold it so it doesn't undo what you just did and then you start over until you get your 15 and then we're going to start decreasing so we get the uh, kind of, I guess, triangle figure of the long hat, which is what I'm working towards. 
hopefully I'm in the screen of the GoPro here. Okay, I'm at my starting point. So I go around that, hold it with my thumb. This is the first first one. So I'm going to take the last one and because this is the two the together of the hat, it looks like there's a whole bunch, but there's actually four of them because it's both of them together. And it's going to be a little tough, so you might have to be a little rough with it, but just work with it. It'll come off. Just have to Use a little muscle. Yeah. And try not to poke yourself with the end of your poker here. Okay. So, yeah. Like I said, just do that all the way around. And do that 15 times. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what to do next. Okay. We have got our 15 rows of our black. And... So we've got our black and our green, and it is time to change our yarn again. So I am going to go back to the green, and uh, this time I'm only going to do 14, and it's time to uh, uh, decrease by two pegs so our hat will start getting smaller, and I have got a mess here. I've got... Uh, I'm gonna miss. Still using two strands of yarn. So I got the two strands and I'm gonna tie them to these two strands. And again, we'll tie it as close as we can down to the peg. And then you can either cut the yarn off or you can uh, afterwards take a needle and tie it into the hat itself and kind of hide it. And I didn't get that really close in there. But that's all right. I don't care. We'll just work, go with it. So, but I don't like to uh, really cut it off because. These kind of knots sometimes will work their way out and you don't want it to come undone because if it comes undone then the whole hat's liable to unravel. But anyway, like I said, we are on our uh, decreasing to make our hat smaller. So we're only going to wrap it 14 times and we're decreasing our pegs, like I said, by two. So what that means is we're going to take this string here we're going to put it on this one, and we're going to take this string here, and we're going to put it on this one. So, let's go ahead and do that. Take this one, and you just move it over to this peg. Yep, maybe. <laughs> Oh, come on. Okay, so I got that switched over there. I took this one and I put it over here. And I took this one and I put it over here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to wrap it around. Start wrapping around just like we have with all the other ones. But we're going to start wrapping the opposite way. I have been going this direction. Now I'm going to start wrapping this direction. And right here, you're going to have a gap. Right there where your two pegs are, you're going to have a gap. But don't worry about that either because that will be sewed together. So just go ahead and wrap just like you, like you have been doing. And we're going to wrap 14 times. Okay, when you get to the end and you've done it 14 times, or you went around there, not 14 times, but you, when you've done your, your first go around, when you get to the end, you're going to have three there because you took these off of these so you've got this is the one you just went around with so you've got these two because one came off here so you take both of those two and you go over this one so just take your little thing here and just like you would the other ones just take them and go up and over the top of them just and 
do that all the way around just like you normally would with all the other ones. And with this little hook thing, a lot of times I go up like this. But you can do it either down in the down motion and bring it up and over. Just whatever's more comfortable for you. It's hard to do trying to keep it on the camera. And then if you put it in the corner right there and then bring it down on the groove, that helps bring your yarn down as well. I just, a lot of times, just use my finger. For me, I just got in the habit of putting it in the groove and bringing it up and over. But you have to be careful doing it that way because a lot of times you can catch your yarn and get hold of it. And sometimes if you're not careful, you'll end up taking that yarn with this yarn. So be careful doing it that way. Just a little... Just a little tip there. All right, so let me go ahead and wrap this around and take these off. And uh, when I get done with those 14, I'll be back again. All right, y'all. I have done the, I have finished the third through the sixth stripe. So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, six stripes done. And <clears throat> on this side, we have our opening that we're going to sew when we get done. But um, I got my yarn twisted around the loop here. Um, for the seventh through the uh, 11th rows, we're going to decrease by four pegs now. And by decreasing by four pegs, we're gonna, what that means is two on each side. We're gonna take these two pieces of yarns and we're gonna move them over here. And then we're gonna take these two pieces of yarns and we're gonna move them over here. And I was, had double, remember I had two pieces of yarn, I, I had my yarn doubled. Well, from here on out, I'm going to just use one piece of yarn instead of using two because this is kind of heavy and I have six more stripes to go so I'm going to decrease it to one single strand so I already tied that together as you can see I had my two doubles and I went down to a single and I already cut that so I'm gonna have to uh like I said, I'm going to take this one, and hopefully y'all can see, and I'm going to move it over to skip that one. It's kind of hard to see what I'm doing because I'm doing it upside down, so bear with me. Uh, make sure I got it all on there, or else it will unravel. I had one start unravel. Okay, I gotta turn it this way, guys, so I can see what I'm doing here. All right, there we go. All right, got that one on there, and then I'm gonna take this one off. Hopefully, y'all can still see what I'm doing. I'm gonna take this one off, and I'm going to move it over there. So that's one, that's two. Kind of push it down there so it doesn't fall off. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna take this one and I'm gonna move it. Skip that one over to that one. So one, two, and then take this one and do the same thing. And move it over to this one. Okay. There, and that is decreasing by four. 
and then you just <clears throat> do the same thing that you did when you decrease by two. You um, wrap around and for this one this will be our seventh so we will do ten rows and for our eighth we we'll do nine rows for our ninth one we do eight rows for our tenth we'll do seven rows and I'll put all this down in the description so you can have, have a, a pattern to go by but um, just do the same thing whoops I kinda I should have tied this I wonder if I have enough to do that I may cut this and get this closer right here to my thing here and my scissors are in the other room so I think I'm going to cut this and get it closer to my little peg down here so I don't have such a gap there and then I'm going to start wrapping but you just you wrap it all the way around just like you just like you did with your other ones and you're going to have all of these right here, you've got two, four, six pieces right here because it was doubled. And then you'll have one single, in my case, green. I'll have one single green when I get there. So I'll take all six of these black ones here and I'll put them over and I'll just have one single green. But that's okay. That's fine because I'll just, it'll be just singled. And then. Of course, when you get down here, your yarn will be here. And after you get all that wrapped, you go that way. Of course, I'm sure you figured that out. I should have told you that when we did the twos. But you'll wrap this way, and then you wrap that way. But like I said, you go, uh, you go um, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And then when you get to the 12th stripe, you uh, you just put all of the pegs, whatever's left, you just put it all together and then you tie it. And that's, that's the end of it. But I'll show you when we get there. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the rows. And when I get to the 12th one, I'll come back on and show you how to finish up the hat. And then we'll start sewing it together. So I'll see you after a little bit. All right, y'all. We are at the point to where we are ready to take our hat off the loom. We are down to our last three pegs and I went ahead and changed colors because I want the very end of mine to be black. So I have got three, uh, three pegs here that still have um, yarn on it. So I'm going to take my black here and I'm gonna go ahead and loop around and do one loop and go ahead and cast those off and then I'm gonna put and then I'm gonna put these two on that one so let's go ahead and do that <laughs> okay this is not that difficult y'all Okay, so we got that one, that one, and then I'm going to move this one over. To here, and I'm going to move this one over to here. And pull my string a little taunt and then I'm gonna wrap it around and then I'm gonna take these three I'm gonna take these three off and then there we go then we got this one here we got a little loop there I'm gonna take this tail here I'm gonna go ahead and cut it just however long and then I'm gonna go ahead and take this string and go through the little in there pull it through there like that and then just pull it snug and there we go our hat is off all right so this is our ends here they're all open and <clears throat> what you do here you can either 
you can either cut that off or you can just sew it inside of the hat. I'm just going to sew it inside. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, my yarning needle and I'm going to take, I have two different yarn needles. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two different yarn needles and I'm going to put black on one and I'm going to put green on the other. And then I will sew this, of course, I will sew this with the green. And you can see the, the tip of my hat right here has the black on it. Um, anyways, I'll sew this green, this black, green, black, etc., etc., until we get down here to where, all the way down here to our second stripe to where we started our cast off. And then we will be done. Let's see if I can get this on my head. Uh, with uh, our hat. <laughs> and it, it, it is pretty long. Of course, I'm sitting down. And uh, oh, yeah, we got to put the little, um, the little ball on there too. And I'll show you how I'm going to make the little ball there. But yeah, that's our. Our long hat so awesome but I will get the like I said I will get the uh, the yarn on my yarn needles and um, just show you how I'm gonna do it I mean it's really easy anybody I mean just just like you're sewing anything just you know I'm sure there's a special way that most people sew it but I just sew it like I would sew something that needed mending so anyway let me get some yarn needles and I'll show you how I'm gonna do that Go. okay you guys I got my two needles here one black one green and I'm gonna go ahead and start with a black one and I got my hat inside out and all you need to do is just line up your um, your stripes and your uh, tails here I'm just going to put mine real close and I'm going to sew them in to the hat so that they don't hang down and bother me and then the upper ones they're not going to be in the way so you can either sew them in just leave them hanging whatever but the lower ones I'm going to sew them in so they don't bother me but we'll start with the black because there's a little bit of a hole down here so I'm going to start with the black and I'm just going to go ahead and tie a little knot in this one and just because I know it'll come through, but we'll fix that here in just a second. So, get my lines tied up here and just go, you don't have to go all the way through, but I'm going to go almost to the end and then I'm gonna loosely tie a knot in these two. You don't want to pull it too tight because then it'll pull your hat tightly and you just want to make it look natural. So I'm going to tie a couple knots in there. And there we go. And then that tail, I'm going to go ahead and, whoops. Go ahead and cut that one off. Not all the way. I'm just going to cut it kind of short. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, got a frog in my throat. And then I'm going to go ahead and sew this. I'm just kind of get the first couple little knots and make sure you don't get the other side of your hat. There you go, and then go all the way up to your next stripe, and then you will change colors, of course, to your green, and you do that all the way until your hat is sewn, and then we will make the little tassel our hat, and we will be done.
So I will meet back with you here in just a little bit. Okay, y'all. Here is my little hat here. I am done sewing it. Hopefully y'all are done sewing yours. Uh, while I was stitching mine together, my hubby asked me if I knew the history behind these kind of hats. And I was like, I have no idea. So I went online and I did a little research. And what I came up with is a nightcap is, uh, according to the Webster's Dictionary, it's a noun. And it's a long knitted cone shaped cap with a tassel or a pom pom worn especially for winter sports or play. And uh, according to Wikipedia, a nightcap is a cloth cap worn with other nightwear, such as pajamas, a onesie, a nightshirt, or a nightgown. Um, the design of it was, um, let's see, for men, uh, nightcaps were traditionally pointed hats with a long top, sometimes with pom-poms on the end. And the long end could be used as a scarf to keep the back of their necks warm. And there's a whole bunch more on that. And uh, I'll leave a link for it, but I got that off Wikipedia. And then uh, on the pom-poms, I did uh, a search on that. And it has a lot of interesting history on it. It came back to, oh, I didn't print out the paperwork. I was going to, but I didn't. It went back to eight. 1800s it went all the way back to uh, the Vikings and Frey and it was on a first I think first scene on a statue um, anyways it was really interesting I'll try to leave the link for that too because it was really interesting but anyway let's go ahead and do the pom-pom and get it tied onto our hats and we will be done with those but I'm going to use a movie case and I'm going to take some green and black. I'm just going to wrap this around and around and around several times. So let me go ahead and wrap this around a whole bunch of times. I don't know how many, probably 75 to 100, just till it looks good. So, um, yeah, but anyway, back to the pom-pom thing. They had different cultures, and in different cultures, a pom-pom meant something different. Like, uh, in Germany, it meant something. In Ireland, it meant something. They would wear them on their uniforms or on their hats, and um, it would mean married or not married, different colored pom-poms, and uh, it was just really interesting. Y'all really need to check it out. But, okay. I'm going to say that's plenty, and I'm just going to cut that, and then uh, see if I can find my string that I just kind of tossed somewhere. Okay, there's a green, there's a black, and if I can't get it slid under there, I'll cut it, and then I'll just place it. It don't really, don't really matter. I got a pom-pom maker. I haven't even used it, but... This is the way I did it before I got my pom-pom maker. <clears throat> I know this way works, so I'll stick with it. All right. So I'm just going to kind of even that out just a little bit. Kind of place it in the middle. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this for the first time. There, I'll probably tighten it up later. That way it won't go everywhere. Okay. And then, same thing on the back side. And I didn't get the grain. There it is. Okay. Let's see. Get that one in the middle. And... Just get it as snug as you can and as close to the middle as you can and come on 
All right, and those strings will be, yeah, they'll be about the same size, actually. Hopefully they'll be a little longer. We'll just place those down there. And then just take your scissors and start cutting your little strings. Oh, these are not the scissors that I should be using. But they're going to work. I'm just going to cut a little bit at a time until I get it all cut. So let me get these cut because these are not the scissors for my pom-pom cutters. But let me cut these and then I will come back to you. Okay, y'all, I got that one side cut. Here's my long strings. So I'm just going to cut right down the middle of this one. And then we will have our two pom-poms. And you put those together, tie it on the end of your hat. See, I told you these weren't the best scissors to cut with. Oh, come on, scissors. I think I'm only getting half of it. I'm going to have to go back in. Get the rest of them. There we go. Oh, goodness. It's about time to find some sharper scissors. Let me show you some cuteness. <laughs> What's that, Muffin? <laughs> I moved her puppy stairs and she can't get on the bed. And that's, she's used to getting on the bed whenever she wants, so. All right, that was a real long one. Hope that wasn't my string. Nope, there it is. Okay, so then I got my long string here and my long string here. And I'm going to tie those two together like that. Uh, probably shouldn't have shook it yet. <laughs> I'm batting a hundred. Oh, okay, let's take it apart. Don't do that. Okay, that's what you don't do, okay, guys? <laughs> now, let's shake it down, find my longer string right there. All right, now that's uh, what you don't do, okay? All right, now tie it like that, and then tie it like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and tie another knot. Okay, and then you can shake it up. There you go. Then you got a big pom pom, and you can trim it up or you know, get rid of the long ones, make it look however you want. I kind of like the funky looking, whatever. Of course, I will get rid of the, like the real long ones after I get it tied on there. See, there's some real long ones like that. I'll get rid of those. But, yeah. Anyway, let's go ahead and tie it on there. What I'm going to do is just take my little thing here. And I'm going to find the ends. And you know what? On second thought, I'm going to take my needle. And let's find those long strings again. All right, a green, a black, and a green, and a black. Let's find them. Let's see. Uh, let's find the four longest ones. And that should be the ones we used. So you can either use four or you can use two. I think I'll go with, I don't know. I'll go with two for now. I'll tie these two to the other two. So... Let's put these two through the needle. Maybe, hopefully, I can get them in there. Come on. Alrighty. Okay. And then, I'm going to take that and I'm going to go to the end of my hat here and get my needle and well, let's see go through there there it is all right and then I'm gonna take that and 
kind of straighten this up just a little bit. Use my fingers for a comb. And there's two long ones right there. So I'm going to push that down. And then I'm going to take these long ones and these long ones. And I am going to tie that to the end of the hat. And I'm going to tie it again in another knot. Voila. There we go. Okay. So we have a big tassel. And like I said, I will trim it up just a little bit. Get rid of longer ones. And you just hold it like that. And cut. And cut. Or you can hang it down probably that way because that's the way it'll be hanging. Voila. And what do you think? Let me set it over here a little bit. Okay. All right, y'all. There it is. There is the finished hat. I like it. Hope y'all like it. Let me put it on and see what we think. All right, guys, I have it on. Um, can't see how long it is here, but it goes way, way down here. Uh, almost to my bottom, but yeah, I got it on the front side here. But you can definitely use it for a scarf or to cover your mouth, whatever. I like the color for sure. So yeah, I like it. <laughs> okay, uh, I look awful today. I was outside taking care of the animals. Put my hair up in this ow thing here. Anyway, um, hang on one second. Go. Okay, y'all. I wanted you to get a better uh, view of the scarf, so I put it on a white background. So my uh, camera has one percent left on my battery. But yeah, there is that. I might use that for my thumbnail or something. But yeah, okay. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. And God bless y'all. I hope you're doing great. And if you have any comments or questions or just want to say hi, then please leave a comment. And please like my video. Even if you don't, like it anyway. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh Again, thanks for watching. God bless y'all. Have a great day. And until next time, take care. All right. Bye-bye.